Hi everyone, welcome back to the AI language. So today we are going to take a simple first step into the world of Google's agent to agent protocol and we'll create two agents, a server agent. So this is the server agent over here in the last video. We've already looked at the different components in A2A protocol and the life cycle of A2A protocol communication. So we are going to look at a server agent that tells the current time. So a very simple server agent that will just tell you what time it is right now. And then we'll look at a client agent, which basically discovers this server agent through the discovery process, fetches the agent card, which basically tells what are the capabilities and skills and endpoints, etc., of this particular agent, and then sends a task to this particular server agent. So this tutorial is going to be super beginner friendly and this will just focus on understanding this discovery flow, how the A2A client discovers the agent through the agent card and through the A2A server. And in this, we are also going to understand how the client can send a task to the agent using the A2A server using the task slash send endpoint and then how the server responds with a response and how the client can receive that and display it. While talking about the task, we'll also look at how the task is composed of messages and each message in this case will be consisting of parts. In our case, we'll just be using a simple text part to make the message and the task. So just a note that we'll actually use a very simple server agent and client agent, which actually will not use a large language model for now so that we can just understand how these basic aspects of A2A protocol work. And from here, we'll take it forward to build more complex servers and clients in future lectures and videos. All right, so let's get started and look at this amazing first implementation of a client and a server that we are going to do today. Before we begin, I kindly request you to please subscribe to the AI language YouTube channel. If you'd like to learn more about A2A, MCP and building agents with Python. All right, so let's first create the folder structure for this project. So just like we did for MCP, we are going to create a root directory called A2A and inside that we'll create a samples directory to hold our client and server. So let's make the A2A directory. Then let's make the A2A samples directory inside the root A2A directory. Now let's make a server directory in A2A underscore samples. And let's also make a client directory. Now we have these two folders, one for the server agent and one for the client agent. Let's now write the code for our server. So I'm going to create a file for this server agent, which is inside the server directory. And the name of the file is tell time server dot py. So this server again is just going to tell us the current time. And that's the basic simple function. We're actually not going to use any large language model or actual agent, since this is just like a demo to set up the A2A protocol for us and to take the first steps to understand how to code these client and server agents. Now let's open this file in VS code. All right, so this is our tell time server dot py file. And this is basically an A2A server for us. That's going to implement some of the basic aspects of the protocol so that we can understand how to start coding our A2A servers. And we'll basically use this understanding further in later videos to then make more complex agents. So let's walk through this code. So we first import the flask class and utility functions from the flask package. And flask is basically a lightweight web framework used to build HTTP APIs and web servers. We then import the daytime class from Python's built in daytime module. And this is basically used to get the current date and time. And this is the basic function of our server for now. Then we create a new Flask app instance and this basically initializes our server application so, so that we can define the endpoints on it. So now we define the endpoint for the agent card and this basically helps us in the discovery phase. And if you have seen my video on complete overview of A2A components and lifecycle, let me just switch to that quickly and show that. So the A2A client uses the discovery flow to 
discover the agent card through the A2S server. And this is what we are basically trying to implement over here. The agent card is hosted on slash dot well known slash agent dot JSON, which is the well known URL for the server. And it, it basically defines the capabilities, skills, endpoint URL and authentication for this particular agent. So now let's go back to our server code. And now you can see that uh, we have defined an HTTP get route for this well known agent discovery path as is required by the protocol. And according to the A2S spec, the clients discovers an agent by calling this particular URL. So we have defined this particular route using Python and the get method. And we are calling this function agent underscore card. The sole purpose of this function is to return the metadata about this agent in JSON format. And this basically includes all these details. So agent's name, and we'll name this as tell time agent. And then there's a description which tells uh, what the agent does. So this is just agent just tells the current time when asked. So again, note that this would basically actually be calling an agent which would use a large language model or even multiple local agents to do some useful work for us. For now, just to understand how it works, we are hard coding this as an agent that tells the current time when asked. And we don't actually use an LLM for this. We just directly tell the time using the date time library in Python. Then it tells the URL. So this is where we are going to basically host our agent. And in this case, this flask app, and this will be local host colon 5000, which is the port number. A version info for the agent is provided over here, which is 1.0. And then we provide the capabilities. Uh, the capabilities for now are streaming and push notifications, which are both set to false. So this means that our agent does not support streaming updates. So it doesn't provide real time updates to the client as to what is the progress on the task. And neither does it provide push notifications because this is the first step. We want to keep it simple. So we'll just go ahead by setting these two faults. Then we define the endpoint for task handling. So this is task slash send again as required by the A2A protocol. And we define a post route for this particular endpoint. And this is the main endpoint that the A2A clients can use to send a task to this agent. So as you can see, we have used the flask app root slash task slash send with the post method. And the name of the function to handle this particular uh, route is handle underscore task. So uh, what this does is that it basically gets the incoming JSON payload into a Python dictionary. It extracts the task ID from the particular payload. So again, if you remember, we have a task with a unique ID. And that is what we are trying to get over here. And this basically uniquely identifies the task in the A2A protocol. Then we extract the user message text from the first message part. So the task itself basically has a message which consists of parts. And uh, we are assuming that the first part has something called text, which is a text part. And we are going to get that as the user message. And if the request doesn't match the expected structure, we basically turn a 400 error over here. Now we are going to generate a response to the user message. So again, in this case, the response is very simple. The agent is not using a large language model, but what we are just doing is that we are using the date time library to get the current time and format it as a string and return that current time. The agent's response message is the current time is current time. Then we return a properly formatted A to A task response. And this basically includes the message, which is the original message and a new message from the agent. So he says, so we return a JSON with the task ID. So we reuse the same task ID as in the response. We put a task status, which is a completed state for the task status. Then we put the messages. So first is the original user message for context. And then we have another message which has a role for agent, which basically tells that this message is from the agent. And then we have the parts, which is just again a simple single text part with the reply text inside it. 
finally we run the flask server and basically this is the main block which runs the flask app only if the script is executed directly and it starts a server on the port 5000 all right so that's all for our server code all right so now let's make the file for our a2a client so i'm going to write touch so i'm going to write touch client slash time underscore client dot py and this is basically going to be our a2a client agent so this agent is then basically going to discover the tell time server and agent and basically use it to get the current time so let's press enter let's open this using vs code all right so this is our time underscore client dot py file and let's walk through the code for this client agent. So first we import requests library to send HTTP get and post requests. And this basically allows the client to talk to the server over HTTP. Then you have a UUID. So this imports the UUID module to generate unique task IDs and each A2A task must have a unique ID. All right, so the first step for the client is to discover the agent. So we define a base URL for our agent and this is going to be localhost colon 5000 which is the same as what we defined in tell time server dot py. Then we use the HTTP get request to fetch the agent's card from the well known discovery endpoint for the A2S server. So we write requests dot get and we provide the base URL and we basically then append it with the path for the agent card. Just in case the request fails, we handle that and raise an error. Then we pass the response JSON into a Python dictionary. So we get agent underscore info. And this is all the information from the agent card that we have got in the response from the discovery process. So now we basically, you know, uh, print that we are connected to this particular agent's name and the description of the agent is so and so and this is printed onto the console to show that we have discovered this agent. All right, so the next step is to prepare a task. So we generate a unique ID for this task using UUID 4. So this is a random UUID and, and this is how we get the task ID. All right, so next what we are going to do is we are going to construct the A2A task payload as a Python dictionary. So according to the A2A spec, we need to include the ID which is the unique task ID and the message. So it's an object with the role user and a list of parts. In this case, it's only text parts. So we have a task payload. We have the unique task ID over here and we have a message. The message has a role user and this basically indicates that the message is coming from the user or the A2A client. And then we have the parts and for the parts, we have only a text part which just says what time is it. All right, so then we basically send the task to the agent. So we send an HTTP POST request to task slash send endpoint of the agent. We use the JSON parameter so requests will serialize our dictionary as JSON. So we basically say requests.post. We use the base URL and we then use the standard path for sending a task which is slash task slash send and basically get a response. Now if the server did not return a 200 OK status, we raise an error over here. Then we pass the response JSON into response underscore data. Finally, we have step four. So over here, we are going to display the agent's response. So we extract the list of messages returned in the response. So the response basically consists of messages and this typically includes both the user's message and the agent's response. So this we get into messages. Now, if there are messages, we extract and print the last one. So this is expected to be the agent's response. So uh, we have a final reply, which is messages minus one, which is basically the last in the messages. Then for, e for this particular message, we look at all the parts and we take the first part now in that part, we then take the text part out of it. And that is basically what is the final reply from the agent. And then we just print that agent says, and over here we expect 
it to tell us the current time and again we handle any kind of error basically if there was no message that was received we just notify the user by saying no response was received so this is all for the time underscore client dot py file all right so now we are ready to test our client and server before we do that we need to first check whether we have the correct version of python installed and whether we have all the libraries that we are using installed or not and as you can see i have 3.13.2 .3 as per spec you need at least 3.12 or higher from a to a in case you don't have the correct python version installed please open a browser of your choice and search for download python go on the python.org slash downloads link by clicking over here and then you can click on download python 3.13.3 .3 or whatever is the latest version over here once you click on this this is going to download an installer for you and you can install python by following the on-screen instructions once you have python installed please check the version by typing python 3 dash dash version so next i'm going to install the flask and the requests packages which we are using in the code and to do that just write pip install flask and requests all right so this has installed both the packages for us let's clear the screen all right so now we can test our server and client to do that let's first head over to the a2a samples directory and as you can see that is my current directory inside the home directory inside a2a i am inside the a2a underscore samples directory now let's shift to the server folder and then let's start that server by typing python 3 tell time server dot py all right so now i have the server running on local host colon 5000 now let me open a new terminal over here i'm going to change to the client directory and i'm going to run my client by typing python 3 time underscore client dot py all right so uh, once you run the time client dot py you might see an error that failed to discover agent which is one of the exceptions that we have coded in and that is because you might be using localhost colon 5000 in the code i have updated the code to use 127.0.0.1 and that just depends upon how your system resolves localhost some systems might resolve localhost to this particular address which will then be fine but for my system i've changed it to 127.0.0.1 and now when i run, run my time underscore client dot py i basically get connected to tell time agent which tells the current time when asked and now i get the response where it says agent says the current time is and then we have the current date and time over here so guys is this not amazing that we have basically built our first sample for a a2a client and an a2a server and again going back to our a2a components and lifecycle sheet over here we basically have now covered how to write a simple a2a client which can send requests to task slash send we used a task with a message which had a part which was a text part and now we can extend this to more complicated tasks this task is then sent to a server which basically parses this task and then returns a response and the client displays that response before all that happens the client basically discovers the agent through the discovery process using the agent card so we have covered all these components now in our first very simple implementation and we'll use this understanding now to create more detailed agents as we go along learning the a2a protocol again thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next video but please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel to understand how to work with a2a protocol and model context protocol and if you are generally interested in building ai agents thanks a lot for watching